everyone. Today we're going to be talking about some chants that you can use with your fourth and fifth grade students, even third grade students, but just upper elementary school. So this is perfect for pretty much everyone right now because if you're in the classroom but you can't sing, chants are a great thing. And if you're on Zoom and again, singing super weird, you can use chants. So we're gonna talk about some of my favorites for fourth and fifth grade, so let's get started. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is Alalate Alero. So this is a folk chant from Colombia, and it's super fun, it's in 6-8, so that just makes it extra great. But it goes, Alalate, Alalero, a la hija de chocolatero, a la lima, a la limón, a la hija de Don Simón. There is a beat passing game where normally you would pass in a circle, but you can always just do it like yourself where you're going right, 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 left, right. So when we do that, when you normally would pass, we slide. So we go right, 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 left, right. And you do that tap, tap, tap. And we even do it in my class where if you mess it up, you're out, even though you're on Zoom. So like we really can't tell. Um, and then these is also a really easy movement activity that you can do with it. You normally would do it like in a circle, but you know, the kids just don't. So what they do is they jump in and jump out and then go to the right, jump in, jump out, and then go to the left. So it's like front, back, right, 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 front, back, left. So that's a really fun one that you can do. And along with that, you could do the song Al Citron, which is one of my favorites. I will link it down below. It's also a beat passing game. It's also in Spanish. It's also super fun, but that one is a singing one that you can do. Super fun, highly recommend for fourth and fifth grade. So I will leave that down below. You could also do Bate Bate Chocolate, which let me just add that one in as number two. It wasn't supposed to be, but we'll do it today anyway. Um, so Bate Bate Chocolate is really simple, probably better for little kids, but I like it with third grade. That's kind of like the magic part. And it goes Bate, bate, chocolate, con arroz y con tomate. Uno, dos, tres, cho. Uno, dos, tres, co. Uno, dos, tres, la. Uno, dos, tres, te. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. I love this one with third grade and I like to add a body percussion and let them pick whatever body percussion we're gonna do. So we come up with different patterns, try it out, come up with another pattern and try that out. It is just quarter and eighth notes so you could use it with even younger kids, but that's how I like to do it. So you can do whatever you want. All right, the real number two is a really simple one, and that is how much wood could a wood chuck chuck? This is great if you are in choir and you want to do a warm up, or if you just want to do something a little bit silly, and you can also use it to teach 16th notes, which is great. So if you don't know it, it's really simple. It just goes, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood could? No, I can't say it. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? And one really fun thing to do with tongue twisters like that is to see like how fast the kids can do it, which just is really silly. And again, you can work on those 16th notes with that and practice that with them, which is great for, I use 16th notes with third grade and then we usually review them at the beginning of fourth grade. All right, one more that we're gonna do for today and that is called a tall tale and it is kind of hilarious. I like to use it for dotted quarter notes and then a single eighth note. So it actually has single eighth and then the dotted quarter, which I feel like usually you see it the other way around, which makes it extra good for those fourth graders that were always like really, really digging into dotted quarter note in fourth grade. So this one goes out in the garden picking peas. I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. He sneezed so hard with a whooping cough. He sneezed his head and tail right off. So again, you can use this for a dotted quarter. I feel like this one would work really, really well if you wanted to tie it in with any other chicken themed things. So like if you were gonna do Shanghai Chicken or if you wanted to listen to the Masorsky song, Ballet of the Unhatched Chicks, that would work too. And it's just um, really silly and really simple and gets that dotted quarter note practice in. So I hope you found this video helpful. I know it was like super, super, super short, um, but I just wanted to share a couple little chants that you can use in your classroom in case you're like, I need something to do in my class like tomorrow. I feel ya. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a version for the younger kids, which will be much, much longer because I found way more that I use with the little kids because you know, nursery rhymes. And so you can look forward to that coming out soon. Definitely hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.